Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Cheat Day. I told y'all last week that we were gonna have a new guest and so allow me to introduce my friend Mason. <laughs> Today we're gonna be trying uh, Tumble 22. It's gonna be a spicy fried chicken place. Uh, we already put our order in. It should be ready in the next like... 30 minutes. <laughs> in the next 30 minutes, I guess they're busy. <laughs> All right, we'll see you then though. Hey, what's up guys? We are back and we have our food and we have our drink. So the first thing we're gonna try is our drink. All right, Mason, you got the... I got just their margarita. Um, wanted to drink a little, so. <clears throat> and I got a... Uh, Tastes good. A lemonade. It's actually pretty cool. I don't even know if they put alcohol in here, in here to be honest. Does the new taste like it? Not really, but it tastes good. I'm down for it. The flavor of the lemonade is pretty good. I'm not upset with it. Oh, yeah. Like it, it tastes like fresh squeezed. It's fine. Um, I wouldn't get it, but yeah, I probably wouldn't get it if I came back again. Um, I'm, I'm a water drinker to begin with, so doing that. I usually am too. Like if I wasn't gonna get a marg, I would have got water. But is the marg like limey or very limey, very really? sweet and a uh, sweet and sour, honestly. But is it? Would it's you get that again taste. if you came yeah, back? Yeah. No, okay. I actually really enjoy the way it tastes. <laughs> I got the OG sandwich, OG chicken sandwich. Um, and I also got it. I also got it at the um, cluckin' hot temperature. So they have different uh, degrees of spiciness. I chose to get the hottest one because I kind of wanted it to be a little bit of like a challenge to eat it, but also to see if like that flavor still holds up at the at the highest point. And I got um, the like three piece chicken. Oh. Um, I got the dang hot, which is a low uh, level below what uh, Dino got. And it that comes still with looks like, hot though. Yeah, it's not. Nah, it does. Honestly, yours is like mine Lighter. looks like redder than yours. Yeah. But yeah, it comes with like bread and pickles, and then we got sides as well. Yeah. So for our sides, we got I got fries, and honestly, first look at them, they're really thin. They look like what are called French cut, I believe. So. Same. I got fries, and mine came with two sides. So I got fries, and then I got some good old collard greens, which, um. They look good. They look all right. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try our main entree first. Uh, like I said, I got the OG sandwich and he got a three piece. Some little chicken. Yeah. Just go ahead. Mm. You hear that crunch on here? Mm -hmm. Oh, they cooked this perfectly. Okay, so in mine comes like a coleslaw, mayo, and pickles. Um. The ingredients are, are really simple, but that first bite got me. Is yours crunchy? It, it is pretty crunchy. Like the outside is still very like crispy. I thought it was gonna be like for usually sandwiches they get soggy. Mm -hmm. But the, the yeah, I hate that about sandwiches usually. The skin is still really, really good, really flaky. Dude, mine is <laughs> the dang hot's pretty hot, so I know yours is like this one's honestly really. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're probably gonna be like uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, this is actually hurting my chest. Mm. This yeah, kind of sandwich I feel like I should be using gloves for. Yeah, seriously. I love how flaky this like skin is though. It's, yeah, the crunch is perfect. Question though. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's well seasoned or do you think that it's just spicy? Because there's a difference between like really good tasting seasoning like on the skin mm -hmm. and then just like having like a, just like a really spicy chicken. I don't know about yours, but Mine is definitely seasoned. Like I can, I can, I can feel it. Like when I'm holding the chicken, like I can see like yeah, leftover like residue on my on my fingers and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. Like the, the chicken, the chicken is very good. Like it, it has like a good balance of flavor and heat, which is the thing I was gonna judge this the most for. Like if it was just like a hot piece of chicken, mm. I wasn't gonna like be too happy yeah, about it. it. Yeah, but this like the the flavoring on the outside is good. The chicken is juicy, and for this, it's a breast. And usually that's like the drier piece of meat compared to like a thigh. Uh, so this is this is really juicy, really crispy on the outside. The pickles add something. The coleslaw adds something. The mayo has like a different flavor than most mayos that's so, have. That's such a big sandwich. I also love that it comes with bread, so kind of helps cool down with all the heat. Mm -hmm. Soaks it up and stuff. Do you want to try my sandwich? Mm, sure. 
That is good. Right. That's really good. Wait till the spice hits you though. It's a little bit spicier than. I feel like the slot kind of helps, um, like tame it mm -hmm. a little bit. The mayo too. Mm -hmm. That little like egg kind of on top. Yeah, I feel like mine honestly tastes harder than yours. Really? Probably because it's just like more direct. Yeah. I also like have like bread on top of mine with like the pickles and other things on it. So it does kind of like, I don't want to use the word dilute. Dilutes the heat. It does. It takes away a little bit, but it doesn't take away from flavor. The bun is also like buttery on top. That bun looks great. <laughs> yeah, this bun is, it's really fluffy. It look, you can tell just like by this little thing right here that it's homemade. Like they're not homemade, but they make it here. Like it's not just something they bought. Worth the uh, 45 minute wait? Worth the 45 minute wait and worth the price. This was about $8, 850. Yours was about $12 for the three pieces with yes, two sides. With two sides, yeah. Mine it's didn't come with sides, but like, so pretty much adding on my fries, ours were about the same. Um, extra side, you're yeah. probably gonna get more bang for your buck if you just want straight chicken more bang for your buck with the one you got mm -hmm. compared to this but you can't go wrong with this sandwich okay. i feel like even if you get like a less spicy version this knocks um popeyes out of the water this knocks easily yeah this knocks chick-fil-a out of the water i haven't had gus's but have you had gus's before i've had gus's chicken what but i've never had like a, i don't think they have sandwiches there oh god but just flavor of chicken it's just top tier. Yeah. This is top tier. This is really good. All right. Let's go on to the sides. <laughs> All right. So we both got fries. We're going to be trying those right now. I've kind of been munching on them as we've Same. gone, though. And I've had this before, so. But like I said, they're very thin. And they have, like, a weird kind of crust on the outside. I feel like last time I was here, they were, like, truffle fries. And now they look a little different. Like, there's definitely a lot more, like, salt and stuff last time I was here. But they almost look coated in, like, a not a flour. But they look like they have like an extra coating on top, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but it definitely passes like the fry test where it's like crunchy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Yeah. Even though they're really thin, like they're still fluff. Like they're I, thinner than McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I don't need too much from a fry anyways. Um, I mean, it is a side. If like the main dish is good, I mean, you mm -hmm. can't really go wrong with a fry. But these are good. I'm try my color range. Honestly, I'm not like expecting too much. Um, I wanted potato salad, but with like Corona going on, they're on a limited menu, so they don't have it right now. Um, so collard greens is my, my second option. Looks like they got bacon in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bacon. Um, yeah, just bacon and collard greens. I mean, like, most collard greens I eat usually come with bacon anyway, mm. so pretty normal. Nothing crazy. Um, normal collard greens, I've had better. I wasn't expecting much though, so. It's just a side. Yeah. Something to go along with like. Not a big deal. I think a lot of places like this don't want to take attention away from like their main their main stuff, like Definitely. the sandwich. Like if their collard greens are better, that would be kind of, <laughs> that would be kind of bad. No, uh, but their potato salad is actually like really good to where like it might. So I don't even know if they think like that because their potato salad is like on another level. Uh -oh. You want to try it? This will be my first time ever having collard greens in general. Really? That's a good flavor. Yeah. As far as as far as the fries go, they actually give you a lot. Like if you order to go, mm -hmm. um, like this is a, this yeah. a really big amount of fries. Yeah, and that's like almost full. What did you think of the collars? Mm -hmm. The collars are good. Like the way they look, I feel like it should taste almost like uh, the way spinach gets when it's like shrivels up, mm -hmm. but it's like crunchy still. It's so surprising. I Now's the time where we start writing things. Okay. Ooh, let me think. I'll, I'll, I'll go first, just okay. so we can have time. My sandwich is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay. It is. Like, I I don't think I've ever had a better chicken sandwich. Damn. I mean, dang. <laughs> dang. <laughs> um, I don't think I've had a better chicken sandwich. Uh, I mean, I'm not like a chicken sandwich connoisseur or anything, but it's really good. Like, the breast is thick. The the skin is crispy, the, it's very well seasoned, it's spicy exactly how I wanted it to be. I couldn't really ask for much more of it, like the ingredients are fresh and they like have really high quality. Yeah, I mean, I think the bun too just yeah. sets it apart from like any other like fast food place you're gonna get to, so. Yeah. I mean, I tried it, I would give it like a, it's it's the best I've ever had. Um, I don't know if I'd give it a 10. What'd you I give, give it like a, a nine, nine and a half. All right. It was still really it's good. It's still pretty high though. Nice. Yeah. It was really good. Um, I just couldn't taste the spice, which was 
little. It's because of the bread weird. and everything. Yeah. In it though. yeah. So I mean, if I guess you kind of, if you're getting a chicken sandwich, you kind of have to go for uh, what was it called? Clucking. Clucking hot. hot. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you you're not gonna it. taste anything. Um, as far as my chicken goes, um, I'd give it a nine. It's the second best chicken I've ever had. There's a spot in Houston called Frenchies that I'll take any day of the week over this, but now this is really good. Um, plus it, it comes spicy, which the other spot I'm, I, I usually go to doesn't. Um, so yeah, now I'll give it a nine. It's really no, good. It's good. Fries, uh, for fries sake, they're pretty good. I'm gonna give it like a, like a nine probably. Um, nine? Like an eight or a nine for fries sake, not for like, Oh, food like oh, yeah, food yeah. in general like oh this is amazing but for fries it's a really good fry mm. I'm not saying like oh man if you're really craving some fries show up to this place and just get fries yeah because nah. that's different but like for fries sake for a side like going along with something else that you're eating it's pretty good it's mm -hmm. a good addition I'd give it an eight um, I feel like mine kind of came out kind of cold so which took away from it I don't know if it like had been sitting out because the chicken took so longer whatever but a little cold, but they are good, so I'd give it like an eight. And then collard greens, I'd give like a like a six. I wouldn't recommend getting collard greens. <laughs> if you come here, get the potato salad. Please. If they have it. Yeah, if they have it. Um, for me, the collard greens, this is my first time ever having them, so I don't even think I can give like a fair rating. Yeah, yeah you don't know what to base it off of. Yeah, so, but like for flavor, it's a different thing, and it's it was really good. If you're like a picky eater, and you like want to start eating greens, like it's a good flavor, it's salty. So it doesn't really taste like usual um, usual vegetables do. The juice that it's in is really good though. Um, I will give it that. It looks it like it's almost juicy. like chicken based. Yeah. Is that oil in it? Um, and then your Marg? Oh, Marg, 10 out of 10. Marg, 10 out of 10, wow. Uh, amazing. Um, I would come back here just to get a Marg, honestly. I mean, okay. I'm getting the chicken with it, but the Margs are like, I'm, I really, I'm really enjoying this. All right, and the lemonade, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna, I'll give it a, I'll give it a seven or an eight. Actually, now that I'm tasting it, like after it's kind of like, I don't know, settled in more, um, it's a little too strong now. <laughs> First taste was like amazing. Like it tasted, like I couldn't even taste the alcohol in there. It just was like really sweet and sour, but now it's like strong. You can, it's pretty strong now. Nice. All right, Mason, well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm really surprised like when all my friends say like, oh, like, let's do an episode, let's do an episode. It's so like crazy and awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably the show's number one fan, so I had to, become, <laughs> I had to be part of it, definitely. So glad, glad you could have me on here. All right, well, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Uh, it really makes me happy, makes me smile in the morning when I see more of those. And we will see you back again on Thursday.